Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zoe and I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, I would love to have you join the family. In today's video, we are going to be doing another bump date, my 20 week bump date. I'm so excited. halfway through my pregnancy, hallelujah. And number two, I have finally felt movement and I forgot how incredible the feeling is. So it is wonderful to be able to finally feel my little baby moving and I just can't wait to meet him or her. So I'm super excited to be halfway through. This week has been pretty awesome. Um, Garrick and I just recently came back from vacation and um, the only time I've really been sick was on the plane, and I'm pretty sure that was from, like, motion sickness, not actual pregnancy sickness. So, I really haven't had any kind of morning sickness since my last update, knock on wood. It's so funny because my last update, I told you guys that I hadn't been sick, and literally, right as I got done editing that video and put it up, I just threw up everywhere, and I was like, okay, I'm not saying that again, and I just said it, so... Hopefully, I do not get sick. I'm craving a lot of sweets. If you put anything sweet in front of my face, I'm eating it. And that's probably bad, but I just have such a sweet tooth. In the middle of the night, I'll wake up and I'll eat freaking chocolate donuts. I'll eat sour candy, any kind of candy that's in the house. I ate probably four packs of cinnamon rolls last week, and that's probably not good, but... I have a sweet tooth, and I can't help it. And if you've been pregnant before, then you know how bad pregnancy cravings can be and once you crave something you just have to have it and it's crazy. I'm still having headaches pretty much every day but I know it won't last forever so I'm just kind of dealing with it. I haven't really found anything that works for me so if you guys have any recommendations please let a girl know. They turn into migraines and it's just it's awful so yeah the headaches are still there. Um, I do go in for another appointment for another ultrasound, which I'm super excited for because I'm kind of farther along. The last ultrasound I had was like eight weeks and it was just a little bean. This time, you know, there's a lot more features and he or she has grown a lot. So we're going to be able to see more and I'm just super excited to see that ultrasound. So yeah, I go in for that in a few weeks and I will make sure to keep you guys posted on that. But as far as Wilder, I mentioned that he was getting really fussy and he kind of like has slowed down. I think my theory could have been partly true. I think it was teething and he kind of knew that, you know, something is going on. I tell him, Wilder, there's a baby in my belly and he'll just touch my belly, pat my belly. It's so cute. I know he's not old enough to really truly understand, but he does know that something different is going on. Um, babies aren't stupid, so he definitely knows that something different is going on, which is really cool, and the fussiness has gone down quite a bit, so that's good. I'm getting a lot bigger everywhere, as you guys can probably tell. I feel like my face is getting really chunky, like I have a double chin, like the whole nine yards. I'm trying to think of other things this week. Um, oh, so I mentioned hemorrhoids in one of my recent videos, and I no longer have them. Thank you, Jesus. Again, knock on wood. I am still leaking because I, I remember I mentioned that before. I am still leaking a lot. Like, I should probably be wearing breast pads already because I'm leaking so much. But I'm not complaining because, like I said, I'm pretty sure that that is, you know, a sign that everything is going smoothly and my milk should come in whenever it's time. So I'm happy about that. As far as weight gain, I weigh 127 pounds, which is, I think, 12 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight, and the doctors say that that's right on track, so that's awesome, and I don't know how I haven't gained 50 pounds because I literally eat everything in sight, especially sweets, like I mentioned, so hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass later on. <laughs> I am still craving water like crazy. Mostly ice chips though, like I don't go out and just buy a bottle of water. Wherever we're at, I ask for an ice water because I need the ice to chew on. And I think that's like an iron deficiency, I don't know, but I have been taking, I stopped taking my, um, I had like a pill formation of prenatal 
and I just could not swallow them anymore. They're super chalky and huge. So I recently got the prenatal gummies and I'll show you I'll show you guys which kind it is. Hang on. So these are the gummies that I take. I normally take them at nighttime because if not, they kind of make me sick. Prenatals have kind of always made me sick. So I take them at night. And they're so much better than taking those huge horse chalky pills. So I've been taking those and I don't know, I'm gonna ask my doctor if that if I need to like supplement an iron pill. I don't know. Last pregnancy they didn't recommend anything, so I'm just going to double check and ask. But yeah, anyways, yes, ice chips all day, every day. That's another thing. I just had to, like, catch my breath. I cannot catch my breath. I'm always out of breath, and I have stairs in my house. So once I get up the stairs, like, Garrick refuses to walk behind me because I take years to get up the stairs because I have to stop and breathe. And that's so bad, and I just feel so out of shape. I know it's pregnancy, and, like, my body is, like, over overworking itself and I'm making a human, but still I just feel so out of breath and overtired all the time. Another thing I wanted to mention is I have recently noticed that dark line that a lot of women get during pregnancy, and I did have it with Wilder also. I forget what it's called, but it's basically just extra pigmentation. It goes from like your belly button down to your pelvic bone, I believe. I'm not sure exactly where it ends now that I think about it, but that has definitely shown and getting darker so that's another thing and I am going to also hit you guys with a belly shot as well. <laughs> that is all for my 20 week update if you like this video and want to see more please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye